Hey second grade artists, what we're going to need for this project is a cereal box because we're actually going to take it and repurpose it, which means we're going to transform it into something new. A lot of materials we can do that with, especially when we're trying to be sustainable. The first thing we want to do is cut along the edges that I'm showing you with my finger, the edges of the box so we can open it up and use the brown part which is on the inside. That's what we're going to be using for this project. Once you've cut the box open, then you want to cut the sides off of flat most piece because we need to create like our piece of paper almost. Once you have that cut, then you want to cut that piece in half because we will only need half of this cereal box. Now you have all your pieces, we're ready to get started. Our subject is actually going to be a robot, and we're going to be doing a print of that robot. So similar to our crayon rubbings last time, the materials we're going to need eventually later is glue, either liquid glue or a glue stick. So I'm going to start my robot off with a square head. And a square body. Next I want to add some rectangle legs and some rectangle arms. Now comes the fun part, which is all of the interesting decorations that come with our robot. So I'm going to use these long strips to create kind of the attachments for my robot. You don't have to decorate your robot exactly like Miss Ravellis's. is. I'm just showing you one way that you can do it. I'm going to even cut out these triangles that look like his ears, if he had ears and some circles for some eyes. Once I have the eyes, I'm gonna to start to focus on my smile and I don't want him to be too happy. I kind of want him to be short circuiting, right, when they kind of freak out. So I'm making a zigzag mouth. Now for his hands, I'm using these half circles to create kind of pincher hands. and two rectangles for his feet. Now we can keep decorating using different strips, making different shapes out of this cardboard-like material so that our robot looks very interesting and different. After we have all of our pieces together, we want to take a glue stick or liquid glue. A glue stick will probably dry faster and start to glue all of our pieces down. So every piece needs glue so you can either glue on your cardboard or glue the pieces with the glue stick and then stick it on your cardboard. You'll notice sometimes you have to take off all your pieces to glue them back on. It's okay if your hands get sticky, you can always wash them off at the very end of the project so that you have nice clean hands for the next step.
And the last piece I'm gluing is his control panel with the two triangle buttons on them. You want to give it a good shake to make sure that any loose pieces that fall off, you can glue back on. Please make sure that your robot is completely dry before you decide to do your crayon rubbing. If it is at all sticky, it'll stick to the paper when you're trying to peel it off from your crayon rubbing. So make sure it's dry. So now with our print, we're ready to rub. So we need to grab some crayons, a piece of paper. We're going to place it on top of our robot. Then take a crayon and start to rub just like we did in our last lesson. And you'll see your robot is going to start to appear on your page. So keep rubbing. And doesn't that look awesome? We have our cardboard robot and our rubbing robot. You can color this over and over again with different pieces of paper. You can use different colors, maybe some ombre effects. Maybe you wanna make it half one color and half another color, almost like a good and bad robot. So the possibilities are endless and you can reuse this over and over again. I hope you had fun working on this project. I can't wait to see all your lovely robots. Have a great rest of your day and happy creating!